Yeah, I think we all agree that, that we are really facing an unprecedented uh, global crisis. And, and I think for the first time in the history of humanity, we, we have the means to destroy ourselves as a species and you know, take some other species uh, with us. And many people in these holotropic states uh, spontaneously start having insights into this uh, situation and start looking for, for answers. One of the things that they uh, discover is that when you do uh, this sort of uh, deep inner exploration individually uh, and you go through the um, psycho-spiritual death reverse experience that on the way as you go through the matrices you encounter you know, many phenomena that are today manifested in the world. For example, you discover uh, tremendous uh, aggression, pool of aggression, you discover the shadow side uh, of yourself. Uh, there would be uh, a lot of uh, sexual images including sort of uh, various devious kind of uh, uh, sexual uh, images. Uh, there is encounter with um, uh, the kind of a, a messianic uh, element. Uh, so uh, uh, there's also uh, the, the scatological dimension, you know, the, the encountering some kind of a uh, the biological material. So when they when they look in the, at the world, they see that many of these things that you would encounter uh, as kind of mandatory steps in the process of of this death, rebirth, transformation, actually we are enacting sort of unconsciously in the world. There's certainly a tremendous increase of violence now. It's unleashing of violence in the, you know, both in the streets and also in the in the global plane, the, the, the terrorists. I think this is really unprecedented. Uh, there is tremendous uh, freeing of the sexual impulse in a in a positive way and a negative way. If you compare the movies in the 50s and the, uh, what we have seen, you know, uh, until now in the 90s and so on, uh, it's just unbelievable. There's nothing that hasn't been shown from this particular uh, category. There is certainly the, the um, problem with pollution, both in a physical sense, kind of industrial pollution, but also uh, what's happening in the politics, kind of a more kind of a moral <laughs> pollution, uh, which seems to be coming to, to the surface, what's happening in the world of politics and, and big business and so on. So. Uh, Many people are getting this insight that we uh, almost like have the alternative, you see, to continue what we were doing, what we, what we have been doing, um, in a kind of unconscious way, which is uh, creating problems out there and trying to solve them using the old strategies, which basically uh, creates more problems than, than it solves, or that a large number of us manage to internalize that process where we confront these sort of archetypal images internally on the way to a, a major, major inner transformation, a kind of a jump in, in consciousness. So we, the planet doesn't have any other problem than people. And what is happening uh, reflects, uh, you know, there is many symptoms, uh, you know, political, military, economic, and so on. It ultimately has one common denominator, which is the, the uh, stage of consciousness evolution of the of the species. I mean, if we have the had the head, heads and hearts in a different place, uh, we can solve the problems. So many people see this in these holotropic states as a kind of a race where it's between, you know, just do, continue doing what we have been doing and, and heading towards uh, possible destruction or the, the whole consciousness uh, movement sort of gets ahead of it and enough people get in, internally transformed and the inner transformation reaching the circles uh, that make decisions and uh, you know then uh, the human species could reach a kind of unprecedented level of, uh, of uh, evolution.